America is not a racist country. Joe Biden just signed the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act of 2022 into law. And you know why I think he did this? Look at the timing. We have been online complaining now for about a month about all of the money that have been given to Ukraine, and we're still sitting here with no reparations. Trust me, they are watching what we are saying online. They are watching closely. And now this is to hopefully quiet us down. Okay, let's sign this into law. Look at look at the timing centuries later. You're going to sign something like this in law. And Emmett Till was killed in 1955. Okay, so they're just getting around to something like this. It says a lot about America. It gives you another black eye. And you can best believe these, the demon PD that they got here in America already found a way to get around this whole thing. Because you know how they are. If they find a, a, a black men or, or, or women hanging, it, they call it a suicide at the hanging site. No medical examination, no investigation, no nothing. They're all suicides. <laughs> okay. And you can best believe they're going to still be pulling that suicide mess. Count on it. But see, this at least gets an investigation done. But do we really trust their investigations? I mean, how much confidence do you have in their investigations after 500 years of watching them do everything to avoid us getting justice? How much do you really trust in these people 500 years later? I have zero. So... Biden signs a bill making lynching a federal hate crime into law. President Joe Biden signed a bill into law on Tuesday that makes lynching a federal hate crime, acknowledging how racial violence have left a lasting scar on the nation, and that's not the fault of our community, and asserting that these crimes are not a relic of a bygone era. No, it never went anywhere. Lynchings have been going on nonstop in this country. At the White House, Rose Garden signing ceremony, Biden didn't hold back in describing the history of racial violence experienced by Black Americans and its continued impact. Well, then where's our reparations? Where's our reparations? Shoot, you giving it to people a half a world away. We need it. He said lynching was pure terror to enforce the lie that not everyone belongs in America. Not everyone is created equal. Terror is a systematically undermined hard fought civil rights. Terror not just in the dark of the night, but in broad daylight. Innocent men, women, and children hung by nooses in trees, bodies burnt. And trust me, and y'all also cut off body parts as souvenirs and put them in jars and drowned and castrated. Their crimes, trying to vote, trying to go to school, trying to own a business or preach the gospel, false accusation of murder, arson, and robbery, simply being black. He continued, so this is everything Joe Biden is saying. The bill Biden signed into law, the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act of 2022, is named after the 14-year-old black teen from Chicago, who was brutally murdered by a group of white men in Mississippi for allegedly whistling at 
a white woman in 1955. Yeah, Carolyn Bryan, maybe, may she burn in hell. And I hope a whole group of people come and piss on her grave. His murder sparked national outrage and was a catalyst for the emerging civil rights movement. Lynching was a terror tactic used against Black Americans, particularly in the racially segregated South. You know what? Y'all need to stop. Racism is nationwide. Even up here in the North, the people up here in the North, they will deny it. But look, slavery was up here too. Discrimination and racism was up here too. People are out in the streets protesting the shooting of our people in the Northeast too. Get out of here with this, oh, in the South, oh, in the South. Y'all are so disingenuous. You are racist from sea to shiny sea. And that's the truth. Oh boy. Reflecting on the unwritten rules of behavior, Till's mother passed on her son. The president said, yeah, and I mean, too many black parents still have to use that. Uh, yeah, we still got to talk to our kids because regardless to them sitting in your face talking about we're all the same, we're all treated the same, even they know that's a lie when they're sitting in your face saying all that crap. Um, they tell their children that when it comes to encounters with law enforcement, it's not just law enforcement, it's law enforcement, the regular citizens here that call themselves patriots, it, it's them too, encounters with them too, encounters with Karen, encounters with Darren, encounters with their little monsters our kids have to deal with in school. It's all of it. Don't just try to narrow it down to law enforcement. So Biden said the new law isn't just about the past, pointing to the murder of a 25-year-old uh, black man who was jogging. He's talking about Ahmaud Aubrey. Um, white supremacists and white nationalists were a uh, counter-protester, uh, was killed, and scores were injured. He's talking about the rally in Charlottesville. That's what he's talking about. All right. So advocates have been trying to pass federal anti-lynching legislation for more than a century. That's a disgrace. That's a disgrace. It took you a hundred years to pass this bill. One hundred years. America, you look like crap. All right, so uh, Rep. Bobby Rush of Illinois, who introduced the bill signed into law on Tuesday, also introduced a similar version of his current bill in 2019. The following year, the House passed the bill, but the Senate, Rand Paul, a Kentucky Republican, held it up over concerns that it was overtly broad. Yeah, y'all, y'all always find in some issue. And that's really because you really truly don't want to right your wrongs. And that's a, what Rand Paul did is a, a real true reflection of that. All right. So uh, when Vice President Kamala Harris was a senator, she and New Jersey Democratic Cory Booker, Senator, um, and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott introduced a bill that would make lynching a federal hate crime. The Senate approved the Justice for Victims of Lynchings Act in late 2018, but the legislation didn't make it through the House of Representatives. You, you ever notice they got, always got some issues on why we can't have any protections? But when it was the Asians and, and now the Ukraine, you notice how they'll go above and beyond to even protect them. The Ukrainians, they're bringing a hundred 
thousand of them over. They're already talking about security, protecting them, giving them humanitarian aid, giving them a, a homes rent free and all this stuff. They're, they're more concerned about their protections than the protection of the community that gets targeted and harassed and killed the most. It, it, this is just unbelievable. Am I happy with this? No, because you can best believe the next time they find a black man hanging in a tree, watch what the police are going to do. Trust me, they already got this planned out on how they're going to get around the whole thing. Their ultimate goal is to make sure anybody with melanin hanging up in a tree is a suicide. And we don't need to discuss anything any further. And we know you're lying about the whole thing. But see, we're in that time of revelation, ladies and gentlemen. Everything they have been trying to hide and keep on the low, it's all going to come out, including who's really lynching these men. Everything's going to be revealed before it's all said and done. But y'all, please tell me what you think about Biden signing this bill. I mean, if things are so bad that you have to sign an anti-lynching bill, then there should be no questions that reparations are due. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.